Hey guys, it's DT. Welcome back to another big unboxing video. So I've gotten some requests to do a Deadpool statue and other people have requested that I do another Wolverine statue. Well, today we're going to be killing two birds with one stone because I've got this custom Deadpool versus Wolverine. So we've got this big black box. Mine is sort of falling apart, but we also have this kind of dual design with both Wolverine and Deadpool right there. Uh, on this side, we've got Deadpool. On this side, we've got Wolverine. And on this side, we've got the two boys together. So this is a custom unlicensed piece. I think they only made 52 of these. I wasn't around for the initial pre-order. My buddy Jeffrey was looking to get rid of his. I thought it looked really cool, so I wound up buying it from him. So let's go ahead and bring this over to the floor and do an unboxing. Okay, so this box has obviously seen better days, so let's get it open. We've got the black foam inside. What do we have in here? Looks like that is just something that's sticking through. Let's go ahead and remove this. All right, right here we've got Captain America's shield. If you guys are wondering what Captain America's shield is doing in a Wolverine versus Deadpool statue, basically there are a bunch of fallen characters on the base of this piece. So this is one of them. You can see there's all these little scratches in there. Definitely battle damaged. It's kind of got a, a matte finish. Not very glossy like we're used to seeing on a lot of cap shields, but there's some nice color there. Nice red, white, and blue. So over here we've got a hand and a bloody katana. So look at that blood. I believe this is plastic. You can bend it, but it looks pretty good. Then over here, We've got a bar stool, pretty cool. We've got the rip seats. We can see like the interior of the cushions. Got some silver, a little bit of a, maybe a rust color there. We've got this for the back of Deadpool. Of course, he's got one katana here. The other one obviously is in his other hand. We've got some little glasses. I forgot, we get a Stanley bust with this piece. And over here, we've got a couple different grenades. We've got an assortment of ninja stars, and these are going to go into Wolverine's back, I believe. So I think this is going to be it for this top layer. Let's see what we have underneath. So here is the mask portrait. Very shiny treatment on his cowl. He's got a hidden Mickey on his chin. Some shading there in the forehead brow area, and he's got the whited out eyes. On the back, there are some other little folds, and it's got that subtle leathery texture to it. We also have an unmasked portrait. This one looks pretty good as well. His chin looks a little bit different in this one. It looks like we can insert maybe a cigar in his mouth. Okay, so here is a look at the top of the base. Kind of got a wood floor. We've got all these scratches, broken bottles, shell casings. Uh, rainbow unicorns, we've got Spidey's mask, Hulk's thumb, we've got a smashed up Juggernaut's helmet. Here's another little bottle there, I'm not sure what kind of drink that is. So here's a look at the wood texture. It's okay, it's not the most lifelike wood that I've seen. It reminds me a lot of the Logan premium format figure base with this kind of uh, broken up bar floor, some broken bottles and stuff. Got some blood in there and Let's see, I think we got one more layer. This is a big Wolverine. I think this is supposed to be quarter scale. All right, so here he is showing him without his head at the moment, but he's got his yellow suit on. He is all cut up. He's got cuts on his neck, his chest. The sword actually goes through his arm here, comes out the other side. We got two types of texture on his pants. He's got more of a boxer briefs here, not just briefs. They go down a little bit further than we're used to seeing. He's got more battle damage there on his leg. Man, this guy's big too. So this is kind of an awkward looking Deadpool at the moment. Here we have two Wolverine hands inserted into his rib cage. He is pretty damaged as well. He's missing a few pieces of his suit. Some nice scratches on his arm. He's got some pouches. Got the blade there on his shin, little holster on the other side. He's actually holding his gun, that's why there's no gun there. And here's a look at his boots. He's got some massive calves. 
I don't recall seeing Deadpool with such massive calves before. All right, so here is his gun. He's gonna be holding that to Wolverine's head. This is probably the most violent statue I will have in the collection. So here is that uh, Stan Lee bust that I was talking about. Pretty nice little addition. It's got the base that says Stan Lee. It's got sculpted eyes. Looks a little creepy since they're kind of whited out. So we'll throw his glasses on there, kind of complete the look. It's got a few Deadpool heads. Here's the first one. Mass portrait, and we got the battle damage on the neck, on the head, more on the top of the head, and a scratch on the other side. Nice texture around his eyes. Here is the half unmasked portrait. This thing looks pretty gruesome. That is scary looking. He's kind of blowing a kiss. We've got some claw marks on the side of his head, big wound on the back. Sort of looks like a barbecue chicken patty from McDonald's with maybe some burnt ketchup thrown on it. So this is another head. It's not for Deadpool, but this is Headpool, a zombie Deadpool from another dimension. And he's got all these little maggots crawling on him. Missing a couple front teeth. Oh, I don't know if that's supposed to be dynamite. That might actually be the key where it keys into Wolverine's leg. And then finally, we have an Iron Man hand. Uh, missing a few fingers and one finger is left conveniently it is the middle one a little bit on the pink side here we compare Deadpool's head which is very red to Iron Man's arm which is a little bit more pink okay so I have all the parts here on the table let's put this thing together so we're gonna start off with Wolverine he's got a peg and a key looks like the peg goes right here in Juggernaut's helmet the key goes right there in back Looks like it fits in there pretty well. Then I guess we can put uh, Wolverine's head on. We're just gonna use this uh, cowled portrait. And we'll stick it in right here. Looks kinda like he's howling at the moon right now. Uh, of course, his arms are connected to Deadpool. I think it's safe to put him on. So the left arm has a peg, and the right arm has a keyhole, and they just correspond with Wolverine. And he just goes in like that. And he's just floating there in the air. Then we have his right hand with the gun. And that's going to be pointed right at Wolverine's temple. And I'm not sure if it's my imagination, but it looks like there's a little indentation on Wolverine's head where the barrel of the gun lines up. We've got his uh, katana and his left hand. Here, I'll spin it around this side first to show you guys. There's actually a little slit right here in Wolverine's arm. And I believe the sword, the sword just kind of slides in like so, right through his bicep. Go ahead and stick his hand on and attach it to his body. And then we can give Deadpool his head. I'm gonna use the mask portrait. I think I like the mask portraits better on both these guys. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, we got some grenades that look like they go into Deadpool's belt. One key's in next to this pouch, and looks like the other one keys in right here. Then we have Headpool. There's a space right here on Wolverine's calf. The trick is to get the little metal peg in, like that. Here is the other katana and the sheath. Looks like that goes right on Deadpool's back. So we've got Iron Man saying he's number one, and uh, we can put that right here. Cap shield, there's a little peg hole for that right here. Um, it's gonna be resting on this stool, and there is a magnet right here on the stool, and there is also a magnet right here. So we'll slide the stool underneath cap shield, and it magnetizes right there. And finally, we have these uh, ninja stars, and those insert into Wolverine's back. So it looks like the slits have different sizes that correspond to the little parts on the ninja stars, just like that. And these are all friction fit. It's kind of confusing. There are a couple slits on his back that don't actually have a star in them. I guess they kind of fell out during the battle, but he has one more here on the leg. There you go. And then we also have this little cigar. I almost forgot this in the box. I didn't see it at first. 
But that one pegs into Wolverine's mouth on his unmasked portrait. Okay guys, so here it is, Deadpool versus Wolverine. So this is a pretty awesome piece. It was based off of the artwork of Tom Velez. It did differ slightly in that Wolverine was wearing his brown suit, but here they have the more traditional blue and yellow costume. I'm not sure why they didn't go with brown, but uh, the blue and yellow works for me. This one's got a very dynamic design with Wolverine hoisting up Deadpool in the air like this. We've got an epic battle going on here. Both of these guys are tearing each other apart. Who's gonna win is anybody's guess. We've got this bar floor design with the wood planks. We can see the wooden joists and subfloor beneath. We've got broken bottles, claw marks, shell casings, and some of our other fallen victims. While I do get the concept of all these pieces, and I think they make a really nice option, I would have liked it to be an option and have these things be removable. I think this piece would have been just as epic if it didn't have all this other stuff around, it would kind of allow your eye to focus on the main battle here. They are nice Easter eggs to have, and we can remove some of them. However, these other ones are glued on. Uh, we've got his leg up on Juggernaut's helmet, and inside the helmet, we've got some rocks. So I'm not really sure what those rocks are doing inside the bar. I'm sure they're there for some support, but that struck me as a little odd. But it definitely tells a story, and there is no doubt that there's a battle going on here. We've got Deadpool slicing through Wolverine's arm, at the same time pointing a gun to his head, and we can't forget about those ninja stars to the back. There's some nice texture variation in both of their costumes. The paintwork on them look equally as nice. Up here on Wolverine's arm, we do have some sculpted in hair. They've got good expressions on both their faces. Deadpool looks very determined, as does Wolverine. Deadpool's got all these claw marks on him. These two have definitely done a number on one another. I love all the detail with the pouches and straps. And the sculpt is just a perfect translation of that original 2D art. And here we have Deadpool kind of chewing on Wolverine's calf. I thought that was a very nice touch. I love all the little maggots on his head. And this thing looks impressive from pretty much any angle, which is a great indicator of a terrific sculpt. Then we have the two switch out portraits. I think the unmasked Wolverine portrait looks pretty good, but to me, for this piece, his face is just a little bit too relaxed. I mean, he's got a cigar in his mouth, his mouth is closed. He does look mean, but it doesn't look like he has a whole lot of energy. Then we have the unmasked Deadpool portrait. This one too is, is a little on the gruesome side. We have the entire side of his face kind of look like grilled cheese but it's got this nice glossy blood around his eyes and mouth. You can see the cuts into his cowl. It is pretty interesting. He's got the puckered lips and all that. I just think they look better with the mask portrait, but uh, always good to have options. There are a few little nitpicks that I had. One was that these guys were a little lacking in their gluteus maximus area. I think they could have added a little bit more roundness and fullness to his bottom area. I think if they just filled that out a little bit more, it would have been perfect. Deadpool's kind of got the same situation going on here. He's uh, suffering from a little flat butt-itis. However, what he's lacking in the butt department, he makes up for in his calves. Deadpool's usually known as being a more slender character. He's definitely muscular, but he's not usually stocky looking. It just seems like his calves and ankles are a little bit on the big side. So these are fictional characters, so I don't know, Deadpool could have cankles. Wolverine does have a seam on his neck. Seems to be hard to avoid with that yellow costume of his. So as far as the best angle of this piece, I would have to say it would be something like this. Uh, very similar to the art print, but we see the sword going through Wolverine's arm and Deadpool having his gun right to Wolverine's temple. Uh, the other side looks pretty cool as well. We just kind of miss the effect with the sword. And then last but not least, we get this Stan Lee bust. This is a pretty awesome little extra. It'll pair next to pretty much anything Marvel. It's got this cool stone color and texture. It's got the removable glasses. And this would look great next to a yellow label CGC slab. 
Okay guys, so that was the custom Wolverine versus Deadpool statue. Pretty amazing piece. I'm glad I was able to add it to the collection. Jeffrey, thank you again for letting me take over your pre-order. As always, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.